Hey, Out There Healing 1111. What about Wednesday? Do you ever really think about Wednesday? Wednesday's in the middle of the week. What is he thinking? What are you thinking? What are you going to do with the rest of your life? Divine, I need you to step in, protect us, guide us. We need Archangel Michael here, and Galeon, and Helan, and I don't ever say the names right, Raphael and Raziel. All the spirits and guides come in. I'm going to do a little outdoor biking today on my Outdoor Healing channel, and uh, I need you to uh, clear your mind on Wednesday. What about Wednesday? You don't even want to know what pulled up. So on this Wednesday, unconditional love. So this could be your heart opening up. This could be your partner's heart opening up. I'm feeling that the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine are finally letting go of what no longer serves them. So. Welcome to my channel on Wednesday. What do you want to know? Unconditional love? Is that what was on your mind when you showed up at my channel? You should probably share, like, and subscribe and help somebody else on What About Wednesday? What do they need to know? So let's clarify the divine mother and unconditional love. Maybe it's a relationship between a mother and a daughter that's finally coming back around. Maybe, oh, maybe it's just survival. Two hands, the divine coming in, wrapping their arms around you, showing you that unconditional love. What else you got here, spirit? I got 19 on the table and I got one. One and 19 are 20, divided by two is 10 and 10. Two chapters that are closing out. What does your divine masculine think of you today? Spirit, lead me, guide me, show me. Decisions, higher self and awakening. Their soul has been awakened today. Today is the middle of Wednesday. What are they going to do? Make a decision. What's the Divine Feminine going to do on Wednesday besides work on themselves? Could be masculine energy or female energy. But all I know is I've been awakened. So my Divine Masculine or Feminine must have awakened also. She is getting gifts. Is someone bringing her a gift? Is a decision being made? An unconditional love? Are they finally coming home? What if Wednesday was the best day of the rest of your life? What about it? Someone's working on their self-esteem. Work on you. It's weird. It took me 48 years to realize that the tighter you hold on, the more they run away. If you just let go and let God, it's like you release all these burdens on yourself and Give them them, it's fantastic. When is unity gonna come in? What about this Wednesday that's different than all the others? What's gonna happen today between you and your divine partner? <gasps> Victory! Helpers, friends, loved ones, there's a star here. Um, carrying the song, wishing on a star, no matter where you are. Wow, we have unconditional love, we have gifts, we have decisions, we have victory, we have self-esteem. So when the cards are replaced, gifts, survival, and self-esteem fall on the divine masculine side. So what is the divine feminine? Whoa. Denial. When I close, it's really weird because when you're in alignment with your divine masculine and feminine, your eye burns, twitches, someone's talking about you. It's kind of like the old loss on one side, gain on one side. For like a week and a half, my eye was burning and hurting. And I don't know if someone's third eye chakra was open, but there's a flame that's been lit and a chain that's been broken and mask has been removed. So you remove the mask from your own eye. You're no longer in denial. You know that your divine partner is coming. It's been so long. It's finally here. I'm excited for you. What's the outcome going to be? What's going to happen with the rest of your day as you let go and move on? <gasps> a new life? You have the zero. It's the full card. It's a new beginning. It's abundant. It's growth. I've never gotten this card before, but it's a pretty color. Like, I love this color. Maybe that's your heart opening up. I don't know. I feel different. So whoever's getting this today, it's great. I like it. One more. Divine is saying one more. What are you going to do? What are you going to do on Wednesday that's different than any other day? Imagine. Imagine them here. Imagine them taking a walk with you today. Imagine them going bike riding with you. Imagine them telling you today 
I waited a lifetime on this Wednesday to tell you how wonderfully you are, what a blessing you are, and I love you. Tell someone today that you love them. That's what his shirt say, but kiss me anyway. It's weird how us uh, intuitive readers, we have weird shirts that we wear. Today I'm in my heart chakra. It's weird. I'm green and white. I'm feeling love. I'm feeling the abundance moving forward. So let me pull a couple oracles on this wonderful Wednesday so we can get off and wonder. Wonder is the word that came through. Divine spirits and guides, Archangel, Michael, Gabrielle, lift this heart above abundance. The two people are in alignment. They have done the work. It has been years in the making. My skin looks fabulous today. What the hell is going on? If you can dream it, you can do it. Walt Disney. You guys have this childlike energy together. They've never had that with anyone else. Maybe they call you stupid. Maybe they call you dumb and joke and banter. But you joke with one another. You complete yourself. There was parts of both of you that needed to be broken so that you could start a fresh life together. Dream it. Do it. On Wednesday. So let's see real quick. Trying to step in and give me a guidance card for the Divine Masculine on his Wednesday transformation, his Wednesday awakening. What's Wednesday going to be for the Divine Masculine? Show me a direction, spirit and guide. Show me, show me, show me. Show me what's coming forward for. Okay. What is it? I was like a gift of surprise. Eagle. Communion. The moon always brings the latest secret. Someone's coming in with a message. Bringing it smack dag on Wednesday to you. Or you're giving it to someone else. I'm going to read that. Ancestors here. Your ancestors have manifested this. Look up, it says. Coming in. Coming in. I'm coming. No. I want the world to know. You gotta let it show. I just heard that. Here, the man and the eagle make contact through their eyes and their spirit. The man has performed a ceremonial calling to the eagle brother, who now comes to us as a familiar friend. It's an intimate relationship between a human being and a feathered being, one of the both spirit and flesh, and ultimately, this is a deep spiritual kinship that connects them. Born from recognition of the sacredness of the bond, eagle spirit is often associated with the highest and noblest, encouraging us to let our spirit soar. Through the communion, we know that we can touch the sky. We know that we can be more than just two-legged creatures clinging to the ground. We're intimately related to all of life in the planet, and it's through communion with an expression of life that we realize how vitality connected as we really all are. Whenever you experience a heartfelt communion with some physical expression of life, planet, animal, human, and anything else, it is only that you can truly feel how your life force is similar to the life force that is all around you. It is only a matter of the differences in form, in essence, and articulated in the physical world in a multitude of ways that in the same is everything and everyone. Although it manifests in various shapes and characteristics, the essence of the spirit is emanating from the core of all things. Communion with nature is essential for you now. Take some time to do an open-eyed meditation with any nearby animal or plant. Relax your body as much as possible. Breathe continuously. Keep your attention on the life form and keep your attention. In a few moons, you will notice a sense of boundaries dissolving and melting of the I and the though. You may even receive messages or expressions as you find yourself in the flow of unspoken communication. Go out in nature. Meditate. It doesn't have to be long. You don't even have to know what you're doing. Just ask spirit to come in and clear yourself. It's no longer about I. You're manifesting a, like a relationship and abundance, whether it be partnership, love, business, communication. It's your manifestation. Manifest it. What is the female going to do? doesn't have to be male or female. just is the opposite energy. It's that nurturing energy. It's that loving, you know, the mom kind of feeling. Whoa, dragonfly. Emergence. Powerful. Butterflies. She's an empress. She's beautiful. She arrives from nature. She comes from below. Kind of like Mother Earth. And dragonfly. 
You are in an intense process of emergence into the next cycle of your life. Unlike more gradual shifts in awareness you have experienced, this one is happening quite rapidly and came on somewhat unexpectedly. Without any pauses from contemplation or indecision, you may even think that you were unprepared for such a dramatic change in your life. Yet you are prepared and can put to use the experiences of wisdom you have accumulated up to now. Life is demanding that you move into the most stage of maturity. This requires you to adjust your thinking about yourself, others, and your community. It calls for you to shed yet another layer of your ego-filled defense and let go of any illusions of being less than who you are. The period emerged is one of the broadened consciousness and heightened perpetual ca capabilities, capacities. And since it is inevitable, it is the best surrender to the flow and allow yourself to gracefully move into the next cycle of your life. Just let go. Let go. So we have a message coming into the Divine Masculine, an immersion from the Divine Feminine. It's taking action from the masculine side and letting go from the dragonfly side. So it's an equal give and take, it's balance. I'm feeling yin and the yang. It's like, you already know. You knew, you've done the work, you've known for a long time. They just didn't know. So it is okay, completely okay that Spirit said. Is the Divine Masculine moving forward today? Is the energy coming forward today? says, listen to your intuition, calling them in. Is the Divine Feminine going to, how are they going to react? On what day, Wednesday, what are they going to do? What are they going to say? The Divine Masculine is moving in, so what's the Divine Feminine going to do? Wait. Sit. Wait. To me, this is the Queen of Swords. She is standing firm in her power. She's cutting things out. This is the best card. If it was in reverse, I'd say that secrets were here. But here, I'm saying that she is standing firm in what she believes. She hasn't budged. Does the Divine Masculine love her? Well, it says you're ready. You're ready for love. You're ready for the message. What else, Divine Masculine? Since this is orchestrated by the Divine, what is the timing on this? Not the right time at the moment. Time is fluent, though, so it really doesn't matter when it happens. Does the Divine Feminine love the Divine Masculine? Does the Divine... Remember, this could be masculine or female. Nope. No. Does the Divine Masculine, which could be feminine or masculine, as you do, they love the Divine Feminine? No. Wow. That's weird. Maybe they don't know. Maybe that's what they're unsure about. Maybe what the communication is coming in. Maybe they're trying to figure it out. Maybe they did love each other. Maybe they didn't. Maybe this was in another life. I'm seeing heaven in the background. Maybe this is part of the soul awakening. Maybe to realize that they love each other. And they let go of something very important. What is the final outcome here? Will there be a happy ending? Will this divine masculine and feminine have a happy ending on this What About Wednesday. What are you going to do today about Divine Masculine and Feminine? What is the outcome? Do they love each other? 1313 confirmation. Reconsider. That's where it's been planted. Someone stopped their energy. What about it now? What are you going to do? What action are you going to take? If not at all. Are you going to take Divine's message? What in this message will you take for the rest of your week until we meet next week on What About Wednesday? What's different today? Only you know the answer to that. Well, share, like, and subscribe. What I'm going to do today is take care of me. Self-love. I'm going to go outside. What about the rest of the day? I'm going to let Divine take care of that. Love and light. Asalaamu Alaikum. Love you. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.